So my husband just broke my phone. What? And it's not charging. Lying. So, lying. Yes. She lying. Listen, he just broke my yeah. phone. Yeah. So he, I'm so it. happy that his best friend owns a phone company so he could call him right about now. Yes, I'm talking to you. I need you to send me a phone. Thank you. But, um, yeah, man. My phone yeah, won't man, even charge. What? Yo, your phone didn't break. All right. So let's see how fast we can get this phone to work because I only got 11% battery and I want to know how I'm going to use my phone tomorrow. So you know with that being Maybe said, we're going out to eat. We're going out to get dinner. Some, some more work done. Oh, you trying to say I'll be on a, what? I'll be on a snap. Distractions, yo. I'll be on the gram. I'll be on a snap. Distractions, you know what? No so phone so my phone. No phone for a week. Oh, I, I'm on punishment. No phone for a week. Whatever. So I guess I'm just killing my 10% now. Why are you doing that? Are you going to call your friend? Absolutely not. I need a phone. You better go to, to, to the mall or something and see if they can fix that shit. I think you can take it tomorrow while I'm in surgery tomorrow. You can take my phone and fix it. Right, sweetheart? Yes, darling, doo doo. So silly. All right, let's. So this morning, we're going to. Tie my tubes. How do you feel about that, honey? Are you being me or yourself? You. <laughs> so, how do you feel about that? Um, I feel. I mean, why would you ask me that? Because I'm tying my tubes. It's like, what man is going to say, yo, I'm happy you're tying your tubes? But, Seriously? Right. How do you but feel? still, it doesn't matter. How do you feel? It's a mixed feelings because, you know, I'd rather my wife than um, losing my wife. So, Aww. so that's why um, I think it's a good idea for you to do. Um, no more babies. No more babies. This? This right here? Him right here? Him? We got two. We good. I don't want no more after him. <laughs> None. <laughs> but we are truly blessed, though, at the end of the day. I mean, in the beginning, it was a little hard, but it's getting better. In the beginning, Chris is still the beginning. But it's getting better. Right, Gio? Tell him, I'll let you sleep one day. So, we are brushing, you know me. I'm always a little late. That's a pump. That's a note for my baby. But we are ready to roll. It is 5, I think 5.30 in the morning. The place is not too far. It's about 30 minute drive. So I got to be there for 6. We have arrived on time at that. So my husband's gonna go park the car. I'm gonna go check in, sit and wait for my doctor. So Giovanni decides to throw a fit this morning. So I'm going in here by myself for a little bit. I already checked in, signed in. Um, you know, so there's basically no more babies. Which is, you know, I'm blessed. You know, God gave me Gio, which I never thought I was going to have. And I came out okay with him. But it was too many complications. Eight doctors is a little bit much for a pregnancy. And so my husband and I just decided this is going to be the right course of action for our family. So I'm doing it. I'm doing it said my prayers this morning and now I'm about to call my parents and give them the update I'll be alright so my nurse just told me to go back to the car and strip I just took off my jewelry all my valuables, leave my phone so I won't be able to tape I thought I'd be able to tape 
my doctor and us having a good time. I guess not. Not today. So, it is still dark out here. I don't even know where he parked. Oh gosh. Yeah, we need to find him. Because I need to give him this jewelry and my phone. Let me go call him. So, hubby. Baby's tucked away. He's quiet. So I just finished my surgery and I'm in some pain. I'm in some pain. I don't remember them moving me or taking me to the surgery room. All I remember is coming out. And I have the greatest husband. <laughs> that man does it all. I love him. I'm sore. I didn't get to call my dad, but I'm gonna call him next. Um, I'm not sure what I'm on right now. But it's definitely helping. They gave me graham crackers to eat. And I feel like I can't swallow. I think my husband's getting the baby together. I'm so tired. I just want to sleep. So, it's time for a nap. That man right there is the greatest man ever. You need all drugged up. I just want you to know that I love you. I'm pointing on you. Yeah. She's all drugged up right now. Can I have a kiss? You lick them chappy, you know, yo. Come, it's I love okay. you. <laughs> I hurt. Dead do a spot, boy. Dead do a spot. Chappy lips and all. You gotta make sure you grease them lips. It is a little hard. It's peeling. I think I probably bit my lip. I didn't even get to say thank you to Simone. Jeez. I talk to her. You're supposed to see her in two weeks, so you'll be able to. Okay. Did you call my parents? I completely forgot to call my dad. And my son. He's probably worried about me. I have to check to see if he called me. Babe, I don't know what they did to my belly button because it's completely covered. Okay. Hey, did you hear what the doctor just said? About what? No showers for till Sunday. That means you're gonna be smelling. No, you can bathe me. No sponge bath. Get a wet rag and wipe yourself down. You can help me. I can't. It hurts. How am I gonna get to the? How am I gonna get inside? The, I'm hurting. The elevator. Yeah. I guess. How was Gio? That boy balled down the plate a couple times. He's probably hungry. 
well, you was gonna be hungry because I was like, yo, you already drink all the milk. So he drank two bottles already. Yes. Man, my son is really greedy. <laughs> <laughs> Gio, mommy love you. I love him. Dearly. So you can't eat nothing? I'm hungry. I don't care. You can't eat. No. No. I can eat. You can't eat. They told me I can eat. Yo, you can't. You have to eat liquids, Crystal. You cannot eat anything right now. Just like when I got out of the dentist, the same thing. They told me. What is that smell? Did you fart? <laughs> Krista, really? I'm hungry. <laughs> you know what I could eat? Some crepes. Some. Not happening. Um, sir, like tips. And Not happening. You want to choke on some damn steak? Why would I choke? What? Why would I choke? Because you so say you're drugged up. You can't eat right now. What don't you understand? They give me some dry biscuits. Some crackers. I can barely even chew it. My son, can we just go straight to Florida? What? I miss my son. Yo, my stomach is in pain. in this. Yo, man, pay attention to the road. <laughs> but I'm, like, really hungry, though. And your lips are really chubby. Is it looking bad? They gave me... Yo, that doctor said, yo, yeah, her lips are really dry. 
she put some stuff on it she and try to help me. Choppy uh, boy. You can cut somebody with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> oh, God, I can't even laugh. Oh, oh my God, it hurts. <sighs> All right, so about to do a quick run. Um, wife is set. Sun is set. He ate, so I'm good. She's still a little bit woozy up, up on the drugs. It's about to start raining. So, um, gotta make a couple quick run. Did some work real quick. Um, been working since this morning. Feeding the mind first. Did some reading. Now I'm about to go to the lawyer office. Um, give him a check. Gotta drop off a check. Buying a property, a rental property. That's how y'all build wealth, yo. So, not buying and flipping. Yeah, you could buy and flip and bring some kind of money so you could eat. But the true wealth come from keeping those properties. Yeah, it's about to pour. The true wealth come from those that keep the properties as rentals so you build long-term wealth. You see what I'm saying? That's how, that's how you get wealth done. Make your money, make money. Shit. Ooh, gotta switch up cars. But it's pouring outside, yo. Um, all right. I don't drive with phone in my hand and talk at the same time, so check y'all later. All right, all right, so as you notice, I don't live far from my lawyer's office, so about to go give them this check, put another house under my belt, and continue to build that wealth. Rain start coming down heavy. Call it show us a blessing. That's how the Jamaican come out. But um, yeah, out here in Swanee, getting the thing done. Hello, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Um, I'm here. Is Dan here? He's in the Swanee office, or the Beaufort office today. Um, I'm here to basically give y'all a check. Okay. I was supposed to put it down with my um, with my um, contract. Sure. Did he already, do you know if he already um, started to pull title or no? Let me find out. Shoke's here. He's another attorney. Okay. Gotta ask these questions, yo. If not, it takes longer to close. Hint, hint. For y'all out there that want to start investing and stuff like that. You gotta know your lawyers. You gotta know when you close in. All the paperwork if they're being done on time. Plus you gotta do your due diligence as well. So. Alright. So I've been on bed rest. And. I'm now trying to come out. I'm in still a lot of pain. Babe, what's up? How you feel that we got a wireless charger and now you don't got to buy me a phone? You happy about that? That just saved you some money? Got it. That's awesome. Now you can feed me good tonight because I'm hungry. <laughs> Boy, I know he was <laughs> gonna say some shit like that. You know what? I'm gonna make you some chicken wings. You're gonna make me some chicken wings? Yeah, some chicken wings. Some good old chicken wings. Oh, I can't give you jerk chicken wings. No, no jerk. But no spicy food. She said no oily foods. No. I'll bake it. Okay, that's fine. But this, um, there's this event here. Here in Atlanta? That he's keeping. Oh. It's at Lake Lanier. All right. So it's a, it's a network thing that he's doing. It's a third um, um, entrepreneurial cruise. Cruising. Um, 
from 7 to midnight. Open book. My toes are really burning. So, besides the surgery, my lupus has been in a flare. I've been hurting a lot lately. Toes are burning, joints. A lot going on in my life right now. Gotta take it one step at a time. God is good. Um, the difference between influencers and manipulators. Hmm. Sounds good. So you gonna hit them with that knowledge tonight? Every night, new topic, 8 o'clock, Facebook Live, George's Movement. <laughs> yeah, boy. Hey. <laughs> what do you need to do for the week? Write your topics? Yeah, but not even because some, sometimes it's just, it's just when I go through that day that I I'll talk about, so... I'm still getting used to this stuff. You always trying to video me or want me to do this vlog thing, so I'm getting used to it, people. But um, you be alright. You be alright. But just um, going through the different um, stages. If you experience something, you tell people about it. You know, something might just click, and you'd be like, "Yo, you know what? I need to. I need to get that out to somebody." Mm. You got this. <laughs> yo. I put my foot in my mouth, yo. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. promised me a video every night for the rest of the year. Yeah. It's, it's, has it been a week? It hasn't, nah. It hasn't been a full <laughs> hasn't week. week. It hasn't been a full week. Yeah. Yeah. But there's, there's, you know, I got this. You got this. I got this.